Hi. In this webinar, I'm going to demonstrate how to report on scroll tracking in Google Analytics. Scroll tracking isn't something that's set up automatically. It's something you've got to set up yourself. And I'm not going to go through how to do that. If you don't have scroll tracking set up already, I'd highly recommend checking out this post by Benjamin Mangold, also known as Love's Data. Um, so you could just Google how to track scroll depth with Google Tag Manager. And he walks through the steps of how to set it up. He also talks a little bit about how to report on uh, scroll tracking in Google Analytics. But I discovered a report that he doesn't talk about that I think is, is super useful. So I'm going to walk through that here. Before I get into that, one other thing that I've done in addition to the standard scroll tracking is I've created an event to track a 0% scroll. And you'll see when I go through the report why this is useful. So I just want to show you the configuration here. This is set up in Tag Manager. And uh, it's an event category. In my case, uh, the category name is scroll tracking. The If you follow Benjamin Mangold's directions, it'll just be called scroll. The action is 0%. Uh, I've got page path as my label. Um, that part's not critical. Important to set non-interaction hit to true. What this will do is, is if non-interaction hit was set to false, then this event would affect bounce rate reporting in Google Analytics. And what would happen is every time you loaded a page, this event would fire and it would count as an interaction, as would the page view. And uh, that would set your bounce rate to zero because every time a page loads, you get a page view and this event, which would count as two interactions, uh, which would then not count as a bounce. So in any case, the important thing is you've got this event. It fires on all pages. So anytime a page loads, this zero scroll event fires. With that in place, I'm going to walk through the report that I've got set up. So in Google Analytics, I've got scroll tracking in place. I've recorded some data. You'll want to, if you're just setting up scroll tracking now, you'll want to give it a little bit of time to acquire some some scroll data. So days, maybe a week, to get that. Then, if you go to Behavior, go to Events, then Pages. So here's the Here's the key thing that I figured out. So typically, like when I'm in here, um, if I like ordinarily, if I look at top events and I can see my scroll tracking events, I can switch in and I can switch to to the event action. And I could add as a secondary dimension page. So I could go in here and I could add page and then I could see how many people scrolled 0% by page. But it just ends up being a lot of a lot of data that's, that's hard to read because I'll end up with rows for every page and scroll percentage. And I can sort it by page, uh, but it's really difficult to read. So, so the thing that I figured out was if you go to this pages report, then I switch over to the pivot table report type over here. Then I pivot by the event action. And I'm going to switch from total events to unique events. I'm um, just because what I care about is a uh, unique person, how far they scroll down the page. Okay, so now I'm getting really close. I've got the pages here. Uh, one thing in my case, it's sort of conveniently sorted so that I'm only seeing uh, the, the scroll actions, but you might have other events tracking and have uh, like other things might show up in your columns here. So the other thing that I would do is say, I go to the advanced filter here and say include event action containing and then throw in percent and apply that to make sure that I'm just seeing the scroll data. 
So now I've got my pages and I can see, so this top page during my time period, which is last seven days, um, seven days worth of data, I've got 1,687 people scrolled 0%. Then it shows me how many people scrolled 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. I've, I've gotten to this point by exporting data and monkeying around with it in Google Sheets, but uh, this is super convenient this way. I can, if I want to, I can go ahead and export this into a CSV if I want to calculate percentages, but it just saves me a lot of time. And really, like when I'm looking at scroll data, this is what I want to see. I want to see by page, how far they scroll down. I've got it neatly sorted by columns. The other thing that I love is that Google Analytics actually orders the events by volume. So necessarily it starts with zero, then 25, then 50, 75, and 100. So it actually sorts them in the order that I want them in because the highest volume is going to be 0%, then 25, 50, 75, 100. So just wanted to show you that. I've been, I love scroll tracking, super helpful for understanding how people are engaging with blog posts or content on your website, seeing if people are getting down to calls to action, which hopefully generally you're trying to get high up on the page anyway. But uh, in any case, love scroll tracking data, hate event reporting in Google Analytics t generally. Like I, I just, I really don't love how it's set up. Um, there's a lot of cases where I wanna see different event categories or event actions by, um, uh, different dimensions and without setting up custom reports, that's impossible to do. So wanted to share, hope it's helpful.